Michael Prescott Rider and I'm here to show you how to do tricks in quarantine in your backyard or in your what's called um garage or the first floor and if you could outside and in your uh, backyard. So me in my backyard I have like this little I wax my deck with this wax right here. This is my wax I use. It's like a candle, but I cut this off and I just use it like this and stuff. And yeah, I also use it on the bottom of my deck. Um, make sure you always do on the bottom of your, of your deck either right here. So right here where it sticks on the top, like where there's like a little ram thing here, like a bump, that's where you're supposed to grind. You would wax it like this. And if you have like a, like if there's no like top part, like this, and you just had the whole deck, just wax it. But I don't have the whole deck. I have a Prodigy, Envy Prodigy, and I have Jossip wheels. And yeah. If you want to go check out um, Broadway Pro Scooters um, website, Envy Scooters website or something, uh, go check it out. They had many different scooters, um, like Colts, um, what's it called? The, um, like the beginner scooters, the Prodigy, S6, 7, 5 or something, S8 and stuff. So I'm just going to teach you guys how to do a manual to stall. So you, who's first going to get down the manual? Then you would want to just get the stall and then practice dropping off it. And then once you're done practicing that, try to practice like from your house or something um over like two of these blocks like from this line to this one and then you're going to do from this line to this line to that one then to that line that line many other lines and then you're going to get the manual like me how i do it like long until i cannot um once i get out of speed and once I cannot move anymore. So now let's just go over there and many from here to here to stall. That that was how I did it. You you gotta make sure that you go fast like flash or something and let me just demonstrate it again <coughs> be careful because um you gotta like be perfect at like two three feet four feet or five feet many yields because if you're not good at them and cannot do it first try you might have some broken teeth because when you manual and then uh, your, wheel, your wheel goes down and there's a lead line in front of you and you don't stop, you just go like this. Yeah. Um, so now let's practice some grinds. Uh, you would want to wax your deck or ledge, make your wheel parallel to the ledge.
Make sure your wheel is locked into the ledge. And yeah. So you would want to keep practicing over and over. The demonstration. Uh, practice uh, when you get on the ledge. Like this. You could put your shelf down like this as you're learning. Get at it, do not put your heels down, jump off it. So now you would go like somewhere, like here, come here, get speed, and jump off. Um, so now let's do a couple tricks off this ledge. So my mom, that's not filming, will go here. So this is how tall the ledge is, basically. Like it, like a foot, foot, a foot two or something. So let's just get off some of my signature tricks. That's one of my signature tricks. Another one of my signature tricks. Peace.